Hello guys, in this video I will show you the best fame farm in Albion Online after the Lance Awakened update. This method is killing mobs in the open world. Fame gained by doing this activity is probably something like 5 million fame per hour, so this is insane and it's probably better than on the highest levels on hardcore expeditions. Literally everybody can do this. I will talk about the maps where you can do this, about builds that you can use, and I will share with you some extra tips, so be sure to watch to the end. At some point in this video you will see for a second a 7 days premium code, so watch carefully. With that being said, let's get to the point. When it comes to build that I'm using in this activity, to be honest, you don't need to use that build I'm using right now, you can like use anything you want. Uh, I'm using Dagger because I think that it will clear the mobs pretty fast and it's pretty safe because of the demon boots that I'm wearing right now. Uh, and uh, like when it comes to build, you can wear whatever you want. You can wear something that you can spec up. Like I want a little bit to spec up my dagger, so I'm wearing dagger. If you want to spec up your light crossbow, you can wear light crossbow. Uh, I heard that Battle Axe is pretty good in this activity too. Uh, Blood Letter will be fine, Light Crossbow will be fine, Spirit Hunter will be fine. So we can wear just whatever you want and it will be totally fine. Uh, as you can see here, only 3 of my items are, are 100 spec. Only my cowl, my jacket and my torch is 100 spec. And I was doing this activity for like 20 minutes and I got 1.5 mil uh, credit fame, so that's pretty incredible. If my specs were 100 in all the items I am wearing, I would probably earn like 3 million fame credits in 20 minutes, so that's pretty crazy. But when it comes to my build, I'm just using dagger with the second Q, with the chain slash and with this passive. Uh, I'm using Mage Call with the poison, uh, so the mobs will die uh, faster. I'm using Hunter Jacket because uh, it goes pretty well with Dagger. When you're using uh, your E on your Dagger, always use uh, your haste on the jacket, so you'll be more, more powerful. I'm using Demon Boots because if you would be low and some gunkers would want to kill you, you can just use your boots and run out from them. Uh, and I'm using Torch because it gives you a lot of attack speed bonus, so the, you can like kill mobs faster. Uh, I'm using Undead Cape because if you would get very low, you will just disappear, so the gunkers won't uh, see you. You will uh, there will be like higher chance that you will uh, will stay alive. I'm using Satchel of Inside because I want to get more fame while doing this activity. I'm, I have also I, I'm also using poison potions to some harder mobs, which have uh, more health, so I'm able to kill them faster. And I'm using some beef stew, so I got more damage, so the mobs are getting slain way faster. So how to start doing this activity? Uh, in my opinion, you should go to some black zone instead of red zone, because in my opinion, in, the, in black zone, there will be more mobs that you can farm, and there will be less people, so you'll be more safe. And this map, Matwood Samp, is like one map from the portal map, and still, uh, I can get like 8000 fame from one mob. So, uh, only one map from the portal map, the fame is pretty decent right now, and it's only like tier 5 map so it's pretty good uh, and always try to have your mount near you because if someone will uh, want to approach you will want to kill you you always have your mount with you so you can just uh, get on your mount and run away qu uh, quickly uh, also if you won't have your mount near you you can just yes use your boots if you will be low so that's pretty simple uh, what's more, when it comes to combo, just use your Q and your W. When you are using your Q, you're gaining stacks, so your damage is higher. Uh, and also your W deals a lot of damage, so when you're 
fighting like two mobs at the same time or three mobs at the same time, your W uh, deals a lot of damage. Uh, you can use your uh, D or your poison on the uh, mobs with more health, so it will be easier for you to kill them. Uh, when you're low on health, just use your jacket, then use your E and uh, kill them up. That's that's pretty simple. Now I will share some extra tips with you, so you will know more about this method and you will be able to do this more efficient. Uh, the first thing, try to do this uh, not near the roads, because near the roads there is usually more people, so they can uh, easily kill you while you are uh, killing your mobs. So always try to do like deeper to the map, so no one will be able to see you. Uh, what's more, always try to kill the little mobs first. Uh, when I was killing my mobs and there was like five or six mobs and one was extra strong, extra enchanted. I was just killing the little mobs first, then I was resetting uh, all the mobs and I was killing the last one, the biggest one uh, at the end. So in my opinion, this is the best way to do this because you are the safest uh, by doing this. If you would want to kill all the like five or six mob at once, uh, six mobs at once. Uh, that's pretty dangerous because you can get pretty low, you can even get knocked down, so anyone can just come near you and, and kill you. Also, when it comes to zones, I was doing this activity in tier 5 zone, in tier 7 zone and tier 8 zone, and in my opinion the best zone is tier 5, and I will tell you why. Uh, in tier 5 zone, you usually get like 8000 fame per one mob. In tier 7 zone, you usually get like 13,000 uh, fame per one mob. And on the tier 8, you usually get 18,000 fame per one mob. And I'm playing with Satchel, so have that in mind. But on the higher tier maps, like tier 7 and tier 8, there is more people. So there's less mobs, so you have to... Uh, search for more time for the mobs that you want to kill but on the like tier 5 maps there's a lot of mobs and you can easily find some uh, golden mobs like these super enchanted mobs that if you will kill one you will get like 80,000 fame or even uh, 300,000 fame so that's pretty crazy so if you're like newer player, I would recommend you to go so to, to go to some tier 5 zone. And what's more important, usually after maintenance there is more mobs and less people. So if you want to uh, ha farm a lot of mobs, you can just go uh, to farm your mobs directly after the maintenance. So there will be more mobs, you will gain more fame and that's pretty simple. So the fame while doing this activity is pretty decent and also the money is pretty nice too because I was doing this for like 40 minutes and I made uh, half a million silver because there is a lot of tombs of insight while you are doing this activity. So the fame is pretty decent, the loot is pretty decent too, you can get even more lucky, you can get some nice items from the mobs that you're killing, so have that in mind. And I would say that's all in this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned some useful tips and now you will be able to fame farm a lot better. Uh, don't forget to check out my Discord, link to my Discord is in the description and also there is a giveaway running. Uh, in one of my latest videos, so don't forget to check it out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye